everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this is kbl if you guys know me if you guys don't know me i'm kbl if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do so because in this channel i'll be doing a diy just like this picture that i'll be showing you guys or this video i'll be showing you guys also i'll be doing beauties and many more things and giveaway anyhow uh, right now i am preparing myself to uh, actually show you guys how i did this outfit Alrighty, as you guys can see, I'm laying down the fabrics on the floor in my room. Remember that the fabric I got, it's 3 yard. And also, I'm using my pencil circle, not pencil, my circle skirt to measure uh, how I want my mermaid tail to be. Because I watched some YouTube channel and I think this is the easiest way that I can do for the mermaid tail. As you can see, I actually folded the fabric into two layers. So uh, that could be like so i didn't have to like sew the extra layer onto it while it's already like cut together and be like a circle okay so like i said this is a better view of what i mean when i fold the fabric into two and also where how i actually put my circle skirt to know where i'm going to cut so right now we're actually cutting the skirt but remember for one thing actually cut it a little longer just to know that you want to keep like a little bit fabrics on the bottom okay and then after you're done cutting this is how it looks like also right now we're going to cut the top I didn't measure it because I know that I will be using it on the tail not on my waist so I wasn't worried about how wide it's gonna be alright so after you're done cutting this is how it will looks like and also yes I'm trying it on just to see how long do I want it to be and I think it was like a perfect size or a perfect length for me so I was like okay I'm just gonna leave it okay so because I wanted to be a little puffy I actually used it the same one to uh, my extra fabrics and they just cut throughout the same measurement okay now we're going to sewing and this is my sewing machine today we're going to use six for uh, sewing the mermaid tail to the dress as you guys can see, I'm actually putting the two fabric together and as you guys also can see uh, while I was cutting this, there's two sides that looks alike and that's where we're going to put them together and that's how we're going to sew them. Because the fabrics look alike uh, inside out, so I didn't have to worry about where or how I'm going to put the fabrics and how I'm going to sew it because it looks the same. So now we're just going to be sewing. Okay, now I'm actually done sewing and this is how it looks like. Uh, there are extra fabrics. You can cut it off or you can leave it because we're going to sew it on the skirt. So I think I will leave it on because I still need that fabric so just in case I messed up. And also it doesn't look the same. The link doesn't look the same. But that's okay because that's how I want it to be. Okay, so this is the dress that I bought from Amazon. I will leave the link down in the description box if you guys want to check it out. And this is where I'm going to sew the mermaid skirt. So I turned the dress inside out and put the fabrics on top of the skirt. And remember, lay them together. Don't put the uh, fabrics away from the skirt. Put them together. So after you're done sewing, it will look like a mermaid tail.
also because I want the mermaid tail to be puffy as you guys can see I'm using my finger and it fold the fabrics and it sew it from there and then fold the fabric by one finger and then sew it from there you can do it as many times you want but also remember to leave some space too and now this is how it looks like it looks a little bit puffy I did a little bit because I didn't have enough space for the fabric so I didn't have enough fabrics to actually do the folding and now it looks like this so as you guys can see, there's some uh, wrinkle there. You guys can actually iron it because I actually iron it so it looks better. And voila! This is how it looks like. I actually love it so much. I really like it. I thought it would plain could be beautiful too. But I wanted to be more extra and so I add some makeover over the dress. So I will be using gems on those open space on the dress and I will be using the glue E6000. So as you guys can see, this is where I'm going to put the gems on. And this is the final looks and I think it's very beautiful. I love it so much. So next, we're going to use butterfly on the dress. I actually got this butterfly on Amazon and I will put it down in the link, not in the link, the description box. And as you guys can see, there are 3D butterflies that have a second wings, but their 3D doesn't pop out. So I'm going to iron the second wings so it will pop out. So this is how I'm going to uh, iron the butterfly's wings. I'm holding uh, the two back and then I'm going to iron the two front wings so it will look more 3D when it's on the dress. And this is how it looks like. So I actually didn't record myself putting the butterflies on but I know that I actually use E6000 glue and this is how I put the butterflies on. I didn't have any plans where I want to put the butterflies on. I just put it wherever I feel like I wanted to put it and this is how it looks like. This is the final uh, look for the dress and I hope you guys like it. Please subscribe for more and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.